Hey there, my name is Christy and I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and welcome back to our channel. In case you're new around here, most of what we do at DeSilva Life is helping business owners get organized. And a big part of this process starts with taking a deeper dive into time management. This usually starts by asking questions like, what types of tasks or projects are taking up the most of your time? What processes are you doing manually? And overall, where do you find yourself spending the most time in your business. Throughout this process, we focus a lot on time management and how our favorite project management tool, ClickUp, can help. Usually that's done through things like creating workflows for your business, automating your processes, and connecting integrations, making sure all your tools are communicated together. But there's one super underrated topic that's actually pretty simple that I want to talk about in today's video. That topic is time blocking. So what is time blocking? Time blocking is basically when you set different themes or categories in different blocks on your schedule. Whether that is for a weekly time block or a daily time block, essentially you're saying, okay, from nine to 10, I'm gonna work on client work. From 10 to 11, I'm gonna work on creating social media posts. Or that may even be for one category, say it's like social media management, and you say from nine to 10, I'm gonna be working on writing captions, and 10 to 11, working on creating graphics. Basically what this does is it tricks our brain into staying focused on this one specific task so we could maximize the time that we're working on it because we know everything else has another dedicated block that we're going to get to. As business owners, I'm sure you can relate late so many times we have a million different things going on in our business and they're constantly eating away at our brain space because we're worrying about getting them done time blocking is the perfect strategy to alleviate that so let's dive in to showing you how i time block in ClickUp, mapping out my day super granular to my week a little bit more holistically and then also just have one place to store any upcoming projects and things that i have to get to so I can take them out of my brain and make sure I stay focused on what's in front of me. Let's dive in. So time blocking in click of let's get it. Okay, so we went through what time blocking is. Now I'm gonna show you, this is our time blocking bundle. So if you want, it looks exactly as it is as we go through this video. So if you wanna just plug and play this right in, again, there'll be a link in the description below, but let's dive in. Okay, so in the, this time blocking bundle, there are three things, and I go through each of them. A daily time block, a weekly planner, and a currently working on. So in the daily time block, this is basically where we're saying, okay, this is what I have to do today, and this is when I'm gonna do each of these things and for how long. So let's start by status. If you are just creating this list from scratch, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So let's say daily time block so we know which one. So this is what it's gonna start off like, right? So let me refresh. Okay, so we just have daily time block and it's to do, right? So if, no matter what your statuses are, you may have specific statuses set for your list space or folder. So if you ever wanna change those, you can go to list settings, list statuses, and here you'll see we have to do in progress complete. I always like having to do is gray and progress is yellow. Just a preference thing, you could totally do whatever you want and then press save, okay? So now we just have a regular list. So what we did here was, this is the status of the task, right? Whether it's to do in progress or done, you can also have, if you go into manage statuses, if I delete this in progress, then this is just going to be a check mark. So you'll see now it's either just to do or complete. So if you like that check mark feel better, then just have those two statuses. So then what we did was we added a drop down custom field. So here in daily time block, and we named it time block category. And then we added a morning, afternoon, evening, and tomorrow. So you can always add a specific color that you want as well. If you want to choose from these or add a custom hex code, these are some of our branding colors. I just think it's super aesthetic, but you can change those to be whatever you want. Okay, so what we did was we added that custom field. I'm now going to take that from my custom field library and call this time block. It's already in here, right? 
So I'm gonna add this to the custom field and how we got them to group like that, if I do task, 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 then this one is morning, afternoon, and evening. And so you'll see in the daily time block, we have the status is just grouped by status, right? If I moved this one to in progress, now it's gonna say, okay, we have one to three in to do and one in progress. But in the category field, we grouped by that custom field drop down. So let me go back into daily time block and show you when this gets grouped by the custom field time block category, this is now how it's in this layout, okay? So now we're seeing it grouped morning, afternoon, evening, which is super aesthetic and helpful when you're planning out these blocks. Now note, if I add something underneath this as it's grouped, it's automatically gonna put it in that category that you dropped it under, but you can also always change it by clicking in here and then saying, actually, I wanna do this in the afternoon. And now that's gonna move to the afternoon block. Another thing you can do is you can also minimize these, right? So say you map out your entire day and now you're like, okay, I just wanna focus on morning. I don't wanna look at afternoon and evening because we're not there yet. I totally recommend you can minimize these categories same thing with tomorrow you can minimize that one as well so the tomorrow status is uh, the tomorrow category drop down category is really if you want to plan out some things for tomorrow or you're working on something you say you know what I'm gonna work on this tomorrow I'm gonna finish this tomorrow it's just another space to be like don't got time today well let's reevaluate okay so this is the category. We have morning, afternoon, evening. You can have a signee, due date, and priority if you want those there as well, or you can go ahead and hide these columns. Those are just the standard columns. You can always press show slash hide and bring those up by clicking here. So the due date really, it's gonna be this day, so you don't have to have that there. But another tip, in your whole ClickUp workspace, on every space level, you do have the option to create automations that when a due date arrives, so maybe it was a due date arrives and the assignee is you, if you have a team, right? You don't want everyone's stuff going onto your time block. So then you would say maybe assignee is me, right? Then you can say add to list and then you could add this to your time block list. So that's a way to automate this process a little bit and then you can go ahead, add those custom fields and then group the tasks that you have due to yourself today in this daily time block. So it's a little bit more of an advanced tip but I wanted to mention it while we were going through this. Okay, so then I took the status on the outside of here by just clicking plus, show slash hide and then brought that status so I can see, okay, the morning block, we have some stuff in progress. Then we created another drop down, so custom field drop down, that has the actual block. So 30 minutes, 45, 60, 75, 90. You can decide do you want to add a 20 minute block, 15. How long do your things typically take you? The goal is to really map out this is the task I'm doing, this is when, how long I'm doing it for, and then this is the time. So this is a short text field and let's say it was 10 to 10.45, right? So then I would say, okay, that's that task. Now I'm gonna work on YouTube filming. This is gonna take me 60 minutes and I'm gonna work on that from 10.45 to 11.45. So that's really it, right? Pretty simple, but super, super helpful when you are wanting to get really maximized on your productivity. So this is the category, right? We have our tasks, we grouped them by our drop down custom field time block category. We have our statuses, our time block drop down, and the time that this is going to take place. When you do these, then you could say, okay, this complete, done, all good. Um, and just go through that, I'm gonna undo that. Um, and just go through that time block. Also, actually, let me show you again. If I do click complete, and then that goes away. If you wanna see what you have accomplished that day, you can just go ahead and press show closed. But 
note if you do this and you're using this time block every single day it is going to show up with all the things that you've done unless you create some filters and things like that okay so that's the category list then you could create more lists that have different views and we pin these at the top so this one instead of being grouped by the category this is grouped by priority so in case you're like okay i have five things to do this morning well what order am i going to do them in use this priority field to say well this one's urgent this one's high this one's normal etc and then you can have another list saying okay here's the priority of my day and group by priority instead and then this one like i showed before this is just grouped by status to so to see for your whole day what you still have to do what's in progress when you're doing what so that is the daily time block creating a list or a few different views of that list to say what am i doing today when am i doing it now let's talk about the weekly planner so i'm going to go ahead and delete this one the weekly planner is more for a holistic overview saying what am i working on on each individual day of the week so here i love seeing this in board view as my week goes from sunday to saturday you can also some people may um, prefer to have monday as the start and then saturday and sunday group together at the end you can totally do that as well so what we did here is we have the same type of list with the statuses to do in progress and complete and then we added a drop down custom field of day of the week so now we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you want, you can always drag this, right? So Saturday, Sunday to be at the end. So I created these tasks. I added one to each day of the week. And so we have this list view, which is grouped by the custom field day of the week. And then what I did was created a board view and grouped that by the custom field day of the week. So now you can see, you can just create new tasks under each thing these could you could also do say this is a weekly planner right well you can have one that's like business you can create one that's meal plans you can create one that's personal activities that you have to do and then you just create these task cards and you can move them around as well say it's monday and you're like you know what i'm not going to get to this till wednesday so you can always drag and drop these into those different categories and again if you click in here you can always change that custom field on the inside of the task as well. So then we also have one that's grouped by priority in here too. And lastly, so we have our day super granular, our week a little bit more holistic. And then I also just like to have a currently working on list. You know, as a business owner, as a human being, our lives get so busy that a lot of times things can start to slip through the cracks. So I like to have one list that's grouped by a category that has backend clients content focus project coming up next you can create this to be whatever you want you could add different categories you could also do business personal etc and what we did here was basically this is just a holistic list saying this is what I'm currently working on this could be for the month this could be for the quarter this could be for the next two weeks whatever you want to make this list you have the freedom to make it so this is really just again to get that holistic overview so you can see this when you're like what am i even working on right now this week this month whatever what client projects are going on currently what focus projects within the business am i working on and having that option here as well so that is it for our time blocking bundle really just going through what's in here how you can time block to set yourself up for success, maximize your productivity, make sure you always have your eyes on this is what's going on in my business and my life. So I hope that tutorial was helpful for you and just getting some strategies on how to actually time block and then how you can utilize your amazing project management tool ClickUp to help you with the process. Reminder, this template is available in our shop. It is one of our faves. So I'll make sure to link it in the description below. It is also available in our system school template vault. So I'll make sure to link that in the description as well, along with all of our other plug and play templates.
So if this video is helpful for you, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna take it a step further and support our channel even more, there is a PayPal link in the description below. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.